Donald Trump is not a mainstream candidate. The media have been tricked. He's not a winner. He hasn't won anything since 2016. And that was an anomaly. Trust me, this is a guy who tells us how popular he is. But in reality, he is not popular. <laughs> since 2020, Donald Trump's popularity, since he's become a convicted felon, aside from all of the other legal cases against him, as well as being branded a rapist and sexual abuser, Donald Trump is not a winning candidate. I think Kamala Harris in here. Do you want to say anything to her? Sure. Sure. I'm kidding. She's not really in here. I don't mind. I'll, I'll <laughs> You'll still let her go? Let it fly. To make this point, he doesn't appear on mainstream media. The, the, the mainstream media and he do not have any kind of relationship. He only wants to go on to friendly networks. Aside from Fox, he's running out of friendly networks to go on. He thinks that anybody who asks him a, a regular journalistic question is a horrible, horrible person. We saw that when he went to the National Association of Black Journalists and was asked some very direct questions about his presidency and his plans, and he just went off on one. I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner, a first question. You don't even say, hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, a terrible network. So he ends up on these weird podcasts and weird far-right channels. And this one is a, a gamer, a streamer called Aiden Ross, who apparently Trump's son Barron is a fan of. And so he's done this done this live stream podcast interview and just talked complete nonsense about the interview that he gave with the National Association of Black Journalists and specifically ABC News's congressional correspondent Rachel Scott, who Trump conveniently forgets the name of. She now, off the back of this interview where she asks, why should black voters trust you? She now has had threats to her life after he claimed that she was horrible and a terrible person simply because she was doing her job. And this is the problem with Donald Trump, that he, as a not a mainstream candidate, cannot get on with mainstream journalists or networks or the types of channels that might hold him to account. And when you spend your life only operating in a bubble, in, in a friendly sphere of friendly interviews, then after a while you just assume that that's the way you should be treated. That is not journalism, and journalism is a fundamental part of a modern democracy. Trump does not advocate for democracy. But I walk in and this woman starts talking about, uh, she talked about, we have, let's get rid of the elephant in the room, and she starts talking about racism and everything. I said, you didn't even say hello to me. And I'm doing them a favor by doing right. this. I'm doing this out of respect to the black community. And we're getting record numbers, as you know, in the black community. And she came across, you know, she's with ABC Fake News, which is one of the worst. ABC is one of the worst. Right. And she is horrible. So she was very nasty. Uh, so he's on a gamers podcast. He criticizes the black journalists at the same time as claiming that he's done more for the black community than anyone. There are no statistics to back that up, incidentally. Trump doesn't even really know what the black community is. He, he doesn't really have any connections with the black community other than being a racist. And that is the reason why the black community is aware of Donald Trump. They are aware of his lifelong racism. Well, I did this as a favor. This was the black journalists. Uh, the room had maybe... 2,000. It said 2,000. It looked more like 1,000 to me, but whatever it was, it was packed. Yeah. And I did it because I thought it was a good thing to do. And they had a uh, journalist. I don't know. I didn't know who she was, but she was nasty. She was a terrible person. And I walk in and instead of saying, hello, thank you very much for doing this. Mr. President, we so appreciate you giving us an hour of your time. And so he resorts to having to do these fringe shows to get some kind of traction. This particular show, they presented him with a, with a Rolex and then took him outside and presented him with a branded Cybertruck. This is a former president of the United States who is running for office again. This weird, 
uncle dance that Donald Trump does is all that he has left in terms of his ability to campaign. That is his connection, supposedly, with the youth. The fact that he can bust out some dance moves without moving his feet. I I get the impression that Donald Trump is very much on the ropes, that he sees the explosive rise of Kamala Harris and the incredible momentum for her right across the country. He sees the launch of Republicans for Harris, a group of current Republicans who will not vote for Donald Trump, but instead believe that America is safer in the hands of Kamala Harris. She is a lawmaker. She is a former prosecutor. She is somebody who cares about the law, respects the law of the land, and will therefore see it through. And that is why the race to the White House is between a convicted felon and a prosecutor. And as Kamala Harris's star rises, Donald Trump will continue to retreat, raise the rhetoric on his hate speech towards her, and try and criticize her for her laugh, but now mainly referring to her as crazy. Because she was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that she I think she somebody is a- should look into that too when you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. Women across the country do not like to hear Kamala Harris being abused. Men across the country do not like to hear another man abusing a woman in this way. And Kamala Harris also stands for freedoms and reproductive rights, something that Donald Trump took away. So this race is turning out to be very interesting. Trump will not debate Kamala Harris. He knows that he doesn't have the ability to do that, so he's backtracked. He's pulled out of the debate that is already scheduled and instead will only do it if Fox News are are moderating. Obviously, Kamala Harris is not going to fall for that trick. And so we see the poll numbers for Kamala Harris rise and for Donald Trump, the poll numbers fall. And it will continue like that towards the election, provided Everybody comes out and votes, provided everybody makes the effort to actually take advantage of their democratic right to a vote, because we know the Electoral College is rigged in favour of Republicans, and this year the GOP have the legislatures all tied up with election deniers and a a whole plan to subvert the election if they can, unless it is a landslide victory for Kamala Harris. I'm Anthony Davis. You can catch me on the 5 Minute News YouTube channel and podcast on Wednesdays co-hosting Uncovered and on Sunday on The Weekend Show with Midas Touch.